Welcome, everyone. I have a hair in my mouth. Oh, I, hope, I bet you want to know that. It's Minecraft number 49. Uh, today, we're continuing on Diamond Quest. Uh, we just finished Rabbit Quest last episode, so uh, I guess it's appropriate. Uh, you know, we, we, we always need some kind of quest, don't we? It just gets boring otherwise. So we're on Diamond Quest, uh, tr trying our goddamn hearts out to get diamonds for the first time in uh, literally 12 hours of, of having played this world. Uh, uh, you know, again, like I say, I always kind of qualified. I've just been doing so much other stuff. I don't really care about diamonds. I have had iron tools. That works fine. Uh, I want diamond tools, though. I I'm kind of ready for that upgrade. I feel like I... Oh, we're in the mountains now. I feel like I've been playing this enough to where... Oh, this is going to be a hassle. At least you get a lot of experience for these, though. I just don't want to die. Because I have a lot of experience. Oh, my God. This is really obnoxious. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, hey, okay, hold, okay, okay, okay. Run, 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 run. Okay, this is bad. Okay. Whew. Okay, we had to panic for a little bit. We're good, though. Oh my god, I can't hit them on the staircase. That's really annoying, actually. They're, like, just too small. Come on. God damn, there's too many. Oh my god, my sword, bro. What the fuck? Why are silverfish dangerous? Hello? What universe am I in where silverfish are actually posing a danger to me? And now they're hiding in blocks. Okay. Okay. Maybe the axe is the better tool, actually. The axe actually seems to be killing them. Whereas the sword is just attracting more. Why are we in the mountains? I didn't realize we were even near a mountain. Holy shit, dude. Okay. We need another sword, but this axe will do just fine for the time being. I'm not going to go back out for a sword. Wow, that was crazy. Holy shit. I mean, again, at least silverfish give you plenty of XP, but still, holy fuck, dude. That was something. All right. Let's not do that again. Okay, there are still silverfish. They they hid in the stone blocks, but, you know, let's see if I care. I really don't fucking care. Okay. Okay, let's just eat. I'm, I'm, I need some fucking, uh, some hunger. I need some help, I mean. Uh, okay, so that was an adventure. That was not what I was expecting to start this episode with. But we, you know, at least on, on the grand scheme of things, that means that we're in Emerald Town, right? Because we can get some emeralds. That's what I want in this world. I want some emeralds. Hell yeah. That's now we're talking. If we're getting emeralds, that's my name. That's what I like. I like emeralds. I like trading. Villager trading is like one of the most powerful things in the game, to be honest. It is so broken. So I need me emeralds if I'm going to do that. So one emerald at a time. This is the, clearly the most efficient way to get emeralds is to mine for them. I think that that's canon. So I'm um, very excited about that. Definitely don't just set up trading stations. Just want to mine. Get one emerald at a time. Maybe two if you have fortune, you know? Maybe you're lucky. But uh, yeah, it's just, again, oh, fingers crossed for diamonds. We're, we're going to see what happens. I, I really want diamonds, honestly. I've never really wanted diamonds when I've gone mining before. It's always like, okay, well, we'll go mining and eventually we'll get diamonds. I want diamonds. I actually physically want diamonds before we go back up. I, I want to, like, start doing things. <laughs> I need diamonds. Diamonds are the next step in the in the progress ladder, as it were. I can't go to the nether. I mean, I can. There's meme ways to make nether portals out of just water buckets and lava buckets. It, it, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with transporting fucking lava all over. Uh, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. Fuck that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to want a diamond pick before I go to the nether, I think. And just diamond tools in general, dude. Diamond tools in general. So we'll see. Um, again, this is a very efficient way to mine, so I'm just hoping that uh, I can find some here. But, you know, maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't meant to be. Uh, maybe, you know, diamonds will elude us for today, and I'll find diamonds another day. Okay, I think I'm, that's redstone. Yeah, I'm good on redstone. I don't need that much. I think I have, like, probably a couple stacks by now. Yeah, I've got a stack and a half. That's fine. I don't need more than that. Okay. At least we're getting redstone. At least we're getting redstone. You cannot complain about getting redstone. I love redstone. I haven't had any redstone yet, and I haven't really needed to build anything that requires redstone yet, so it's not really been an issue, but, you know... Were I in the need of redstone, I would be a very happy camper right now. So, oh, God, more redstone. I do like the experience you get from it, though. So, what's going on in, in the... What's, what's going on? There's a... 
I just had a surgery. I mean, that's relevant to my life. I don't know if that's if that really matters whatsoever. But that, I mean, and and you know, you know, speaking time wise, I mean, by the time this episode goes up, this surgery will have happened. Uh, God, probably a month and a half. Uh, in the past, I'm probably well past this point now, but um, my stomach is very small now, and they've chopped my stomach out, and um, it's it's very weird. I feel uh, like unable to. I don't know. Like I can't keep hydrated. Like I've. I say as I drink. Um, I've been I've been like trying to just drink constantly, and like I, in these like recent episodes, I've been drinking so fucking much. Cause like I, my stomach can't even hold enough water. Like if I can't even drink more than like a little baby sip at a time, like I'm, I'm like basically drinking out of a sippy cup. And, um, if I drink more than that in one swallow, I'm going to like, I'm going to puke. Like that's how fall, that's how small my stomach is. I'm going to like literally fucking throw up if I have like an actual, like, like swig of water. If I actually like drink a gulp of water, I will puke all over my fucking keyboard. And it's going to be, no one wants that. Oh no. So uh, it's it's been an adjustment process. It's good. Uh, it's been it's so it's just so different from everything I'm I'm used to. It just doesn't even feel right. I, I don't even feel human. Like like part of being human is like oh you know like humans eat food and humans like sleep and brush their teeth and like these these are things that humans do. I like I, I'm missing a, an integral part of my humanity. I I can't like eat food. I can like sip on liquids. I can sip on protein drinks. Um, I can sip on broth that has been infused with the power of unflavored protein powder. Because I mean, I feel like chocolate broth would be a little gross. Uh, you know, certainly. No, I won't. If that's your thing, I won't hold that against you. But it's not my thing, to say the least. Um, it, it, yeah, God, it's it's so bizarre. I actually just ate eggs for the first time this morning, and that was uh, interesting. Um, I can't say that it was particularly different from liquids. Ooh, emerald. But I, I feel like it was... I feel like it was more mental than anything. Like, I've had such a hard time just drinking, like, water. And, um... Is that redstone? That is redstone. Like, drinking water and, like, anything at all that, um... Like, when it came time to, like, put this, like, tiny little sliver of egg in my mouth, I'm like, oh, shit, this is going to make me throw up. <laughs> I can't do it, but then I did it, and it was fine. It was a little bland, but I didn't really want to – because my stomach – like, my again, they literally ripped my stomach off, and they just stapled it back together. Like, I, I'm not feeling like I should be, you know, maybe – probably shouldn't be doing any like hot sauces probably shouldn't be doing any uh you know crazy spices or any like salt or anything i feel like you know, all things considered I, I i might feel like i'm like cutting myself up with razor blades from the inside out if i'm you know doing any sort of spices right now so you know i'm looking forward maybe in a in a couple weeks when my stomach is a little more healed maybe i can start like you know eating things that don't taste like bland again but for the time being i'm a little, i'm honestly scared it's probably fine if i was to like put tabasco on an egg but i just like got it out and then i just looked at him like i'm scared <laughs> this is gonna hurt this is gonna fucking hurt me and then i did that and it's fine i had half an egg it was very exciting i had half an egg and it's kept me full for hours <laughs> i had that at like 8 a.m it's it's almost 12 um and uh that that half an egg is doing it it's so weird i think that our stomachs like i don't think that we get full in the way that we think we do i, I think that we think of like being full like our stomach as like a gas tank and like there's a meter on it and like the more empty the stomach is the more oh no there's a lapis lazuli i missed it i didn't see that that's sloppy i feel like 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 how i imagined it before was like like, if I got, if my stomach was more empty, then I would be more hungry to the point where if my stomach was completely empty, I would be completely hungry. And what I found is that you just eat until your stomach is full and then your brain's like, okay, I can ignore that for the next couple hours. Like, I don't think that it even realizes. I, there's probably, like, points where, like, if you're completely full, then you feel full. And if you're, like, nearly empty, then you start to feel hungry. But I don't think, I think that that in-between part is not even... I don't think your brain cares about whether or not you're hungry in that in between. I think once it notices you're full, it's like, 
Oh, he's probably good for the next couple hours. I probably don't need to do anything else from here. I'm just going to see quickly if there's any Endermen. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely not been my experience. I, I had literally a two tablespoons of food and i i i'm feeling the exact same amount of like it, it, I, I may as well have eaten like three eggs like i don't like it it's like no difference to me oh i shouldn't have done the iron let's do that like it, it's just, it's very bizarre actually it's, it's it's weird getting used to that why are the seats i should have seats somewhere there maybe how oh, okay i guess i only have two stacks of seeds maybe I, oh no there they are so that's been my life for the past few days. Um, again, by the time this episode goes up, it's that part of my life will be very developed. <laughs> it will be in a very different place, but uh, that's at least where I'm at. I'm on Percocet, which is cool. Except it, it's like just a normal dosage, so I don't feel anything. So I, I wish I could like get like high and shit off the drugs, but you know, you'd, if you take the drugs as prescribed, it doesn't happen. So that's that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? It's a bit of a shame. I don't get to enjoy the pleasures of an opiate addiction. What a fucking tragedy. Truly, truly a loss. So, um, oh God, I should have used these charcoal for torches. That's okay. Just put this in there. I wonder how opiate addiction is. They, that is, like, basically described to be the worst addiction. I wonder, I wonder what that's like. That's got to be fucking horrible. I should not be putting these in here. Should be putting these in here. It's interesting. Um, every time I think about opiates, though, I always... It's weird. I, I can't think of opiates without thinking about, um, like, racial issues. It's just like... Can, oh, God. Okay. We got we got an army coming. Oh, no. It's... Because, like, opiates, like... It's such a huge epidemic. And, like, everyone's like, oh, my God, opiates. Oh, my God, Enderman. I don't have a sword. Oh, 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 he's moving. Where did you go? I think he went over here. Did he go over here? Oh my god, look at all these creatures of the night. Holy shit, where did that Enderman go? I don't have a sword. I don't want to find an Enderman without a sword. <gasps> oh, Nelly! Holy shit, you almost killed me, dude. Where's that Enderman? Where did he get off to? Did he just... Am I not going to find him now? He could have gone anywhere. Anyways, I was going to talk about, like, how the opiate uh, uh, epidemic gets so much attention now. And it's just interesting because most of the people suffering from opiate... Well, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of people suffering from opiate addiction um, are, like, in rural areas. areas and... Um, it's largely, like, white communities. And, of course, there are, like, plenty of black people addicted to opiates. But, like, I believe it's disproportionately white people that are affected by it. Whereas, like, if you look at things like the um, like the crack epidemic that was going through in the 80s where it was happening in mostly black communities, everyone's like, eh, I don't know. I don't really care. So, I don't know. I can't think about, the, about, about like, the opioid crisis without thinking that. It's, it's, like, there's always that part in the back of my mind that's, like, I really care about this because it's white people. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that, fam. I don't know about that. But, you know, anyways, it's a bit of a tangent. It's just, I just like, you know, I got time to kill, so I just like stream of consciousing these episodes. That was that was my stream of consciousness right there. Okay, so uh, we need tools. Uh, we need uh, this iron here. We need another pick, which I believe we used all of our picks, right? We got we used that pick that we got from the village. Pretty sure we did. Yeah. Okay. So it's a uh, got the pick. We got the sword. Beautiful, beautiful. Ba 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 ba. And just like that. We got a beautiful iron sword. We got the beautiful that thing and uh, more iron cooking. Uh, no diamonds. No diamonds. That is really sad. But it has to be done. They're in the way of my farms. I have to harvest these farms. I only have leather armor. <laughs> I only have leather armor. I can get a free swing on the big guy. And then run back. Yeah, I can get a free swing. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna go for DPS here rather than damage. Bring up the sword. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm hurt. Oh, these guys are so much more dangerous on hard. Okay, pillagers and phantoms are like a whole other beast on hard. Okay, so um, before we do anything, uh, oh man, uh, we need to drink up. That is for sure because you know I've been working pretty diligently in that village over the past few episodes. I do not want to be causing any trouble over there. So let's get rid of that straight away. Um. Okay, that was that was a, kind of a fun way to end, actually. I, I kind of enjoyed that. Let's put this away. I don't really have any use for these. I don't really like the ominous banners. People like using them as decoration, but I don't know. I don't like them. Whatever. All right, so when we get back, we'll go ahead and uh, harvest the rest of these farms. Drink some more water. And uh, uh, I don't know, maybe, build the maybe build the house. Maybe we'll work on mining some more. I, don't know, I really want diamonds. So we'll see you then.